Yeah, I should say that the other session will be uh, 1633. 1633. I should announce it um, at 17 hours. Yeah, at 17 hours Turkish time. 16 hours CET time, Central European time. Uh, we, we start with the uh, with for three papers. We start Ch will be chaired by Professor Murat Özgürk and Associate Professor Yiğit Kemal Demirel. So about six minutes later, see you. Okay, hello. Uh, 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 Hello, uh, Professor Oskar. Sorry not to inform you about this task, but thank you very much. You are on time before the session. You are here. Dear, dear. Hello. Hello. Uh, ben Türkçe'de we might, we might we might uh, start uh, to. Uh, now, if if the papers are ready, the presenters are ready. Please, the floor is yours. You <laughs> organize. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Please, please, yeah. Okay, welcome to uh, session 18. And I guess we have uh, three presentations in this session. Uh, and uh, 15 uh, minutes are separated for each presentation. And I ask all others to comply with uh, this deadline, please. And if uh, the first presentation is ready, uh, I would like to announce uh, Burak Göksu. Hi, I'm ready. I will present. I will make the presentations. I'm I Korkmaz, and we are colleague with Mr. Göksu. And. Could you see my video now? And do you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, okay, okay. I think uh, you will make your presentation, right? Yes, yes you're right. I okay, make... okay. You, you, you can start, uh, Mr. Kokmas. I'm sharing the screen. Just a moment. Yeah, please share your screen. Could you see now? Yes. Hello, dear persons and chairman. I'm appreciated to join this valuable and well-prepared organization. My name is Ayfut Korkmaz. I have graduated from Istanbul Technical University as a naval architecture and marine engineer in 2009. And I have been working at Dokuzeyli University Maritime Faculty as a research assistant since 2014. This study was carried out with my colleagues, Dr. Emrah Erginer and research assistant Burak Göksu. They are also naval architecture and marine engineers. Before I start my presentation, I would like to thank Professor Dr. Gildem Gerrit because she was pioneered and supervised my Master of Science thesis. And some, of, some part of this study was deduced from this thesis. You can see the contents of the study on the slide and I'm quickly passing in order to use the time in an efficient way as our chairman, Mr. Özgürk's talk. East Denis operates six ferries today and three of them are chartered. Each ferry fulfills approximately 20 voyages per day. This particular ship has chosen due to their larger spare structures are affected more by the wind resistance. The scope of this study is on ship wind resistance estimation and comparison between ITTC methods and a CFD method. The main focus of the study is emphasized in the slide as air and wind resistance. Other resistance values are taken from the towing tank experiments held at ITU Autonomous Laboratory for the ferry's house structure. However, spare structure of the model is absent and so wind tunnel tests were not conducted. Mostly used ship resistance prediction methods are as seen in the slide. First one is based on similar vessels to consider the historical development of the ship design process. 
Another one is empirical formulas are derived by a huge amount of data gathered from throwing time experiments. However, a much more sophisticated method is found lately, which is called computational fluid dynamic analysis. In this study, the safety analysis is performed using the finite volume method by generating a suitable mesh structure under three dimensional, incompressible, turbulent, viscous, time dependent, and multi phase air and water flow conditions. While estimating the added air resistance, apparent velocity concept is used. You can find details in the study. Our approximations will be explained more details in our study, and I will pass for the time consuming stuff. While added resistance calculations are performed with RTTC formula, you made some assumptions and approximations that should be cause a large error in the results. During towing tank experiments, ship is scaled on a scale of 1 over 17.5, as shown in the slide. In order to get the similarity of the fluid numbers between the model and ship, towing tank experiments performed under lower speeds between 7 knots to 15 knots. The added resistance due to the appendages has not been considered, considered in the calculations. There is third 20 voyages between Uchkular and Boston line. You can see the road and Izmir based statistical wind data. The data taken from the windfinder.com website. All calculations conducted with the parameter as 4 meters per second westly wind. You can see the direction acceptance Uchkular Boston line, Boston Uchkular road accepted as the x axis and the ferry starboard. The port directions accepted as y axis. So the wind velocities component on the x axis occur on the ship forward, while y axis will emerge as the healing force. After defining the model geomet geometries, boundary conditions in the CFD analysis, creating the trimmer mesh type structure of the control volume is performed and shown in slide. As a consequence, the control volume consists of approximately 11 million cells, 33 million phases, and 20 million vertices. In this way, the virtual experiment model is divided into finite volume methods. And the problem is tried to be solved with Reynolds average Navier Stokes equations. You can also see the threshold values of the parameters for Run's equations in Table 3. The cruise speed of the ship is used as 10 knots on the Uchkular Boston voyage. The rightmost column of the table 4 shows the ratio of the empirical wind resistance value to the bare hull resistance. This calculation is used as the basis of the ship design process. However, the emphasized red column of table 4 obtained as a result of the CFT analysis was calculated as approximately 7% of the bare hull resistance or 10 knots. There is no significant difference between the methods of calculating the wind resistance in the Uchkular Boston road. However, in the Boston Uchkular voyage, which is the return road, the wind resistance load increases considerably due to the wind coming at a nearly vertical angle to the side of the ship. For 10 knots, this corresponds to approximately 21% of bare hull resistance. As a result of this situation, it is of great importance to calculate the wind resistance acting on ships with very large spare structures, such as ferries, although these values have not yet been confirmed. There is a need for wind tunnel verification in one of the future studies. As a conclusion, today, all the safety studies are frequently carried out uh, for the areas of ship that come into contact with water, it will be useful to calculate the wind resistance within the scope of stricter international regulations. Wind resistance estimations can be made practically as ITTC predicts. However, the necessity of a more detailed and case-based study cannot be neglected. As a result of the study, the necessity of a situation-based study is shown as a result of the wind resistance analysis of the Boston Uchkular Voyage. 
Future work will focus on the design of a ferry with optimized wind resistance of the superstructure. Thank you for your participation. We will be pleased to answer your questions. Okay, uh, thank you very much for your useful presentation. Uh, if any question, we can take it. Otherwise, I would like to uh, go on next presentation. Just maybe one very short question for I could, if I may. Yes, of course. Uh, well, thank you very much. So you showed two different cases and one of them, the agreement with CFT results were quite good and the other one it wasn't that good. Can you elaborate on the reasons? Why do you think? Because the, it's wide direction, because one of the, one of them is yes, on this slide, I have find it past it, I want to show it. Yes, in this slide, one of them is the effects the wind on the backside of the ships on the same road with the ship and the other one is the return road as I had mentioned in the slide and it affects on the negative uh, in a negative way to the ship's movement to the Boston because the wind direction is on the west side and it makes harder to move forward for the ships and this is the reason why it's affect in a negative way for the total resistance. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome, Mr. Demirel. Okay, uh, Mr. Demirel, would you like to announce the next presentation?